Hey guys, how you doing? This is Josh from the Trinity and welcome to part 7 of Surviving Mars. In the last episode, we were starting to make an effort to move to our third site. Um, so we have the first site. Um, the second one is here with a small triangular dome. Um, that got our metals extractor working. Um, we brought in the drone hub research as well. And we have now completed, I believe, the build for the tunnels here. So the tunnel build is complete as well. We also need to, or we should say we want to bring some power, power lines in um, to the tunnel system itself. Like that, I believe. Um, and then also some water pipage as well. And ultimately, what the, the idea is with these sites, whilst they are all Let's bring the speed up a little bit. Whilst they are all um, interconnected, ideally they also want to be um, they also want to be self-sufficient. So if one site received a, a meteor strike, for example, whilst it would be a pretty disastrous thing to happen, we would at least be able to survive on another site. We're not expecting everything to, to melt down all of a sudden. So what we want to do now is I want to have a look at the um, medium domes. Um, we were waiting for the Asha thing. Ah, no. Yes, we were waiting for the the research to come in for the medium domes now, weren't we? So that's the low G engineering. So that allows us to create the medium dome, which is 120 concrete, 50 metal, and 50 and 20 polymers. Um, we don't have that level of metal available right now. But do we have metal here? Yes, we do. Uh, 21. So we should be able to actually bring that metal in. <coughs> What I was also thinking is here on this site, I had built. You're the RC commander. I need you um, over here to get ready to go over to that new site. Um, I also really want to get a Moxie set up as well, because a Moxie will allow us to again create oxygen for the domes, get it connected. The cost is four, maintenance is two, base production. So yeah, I really want to to get the Moxie connected as well. So that makes it out of range of that area there. That's not so bad though, we'll just let that build up for now. Um, so I want to um, drop this here and also get us a water, 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 water pipe from there to there. Lovely stuff. So our little drones, because we do have a drone up here now as well, that'll go away and get all that sorted. And we're already. Um, building up our resources as it is which is very very nice indeed right so let's go for it we are going to get our medium dome in once the research is completed Jax what are you doing so why is the there's no power derp goodness me so power there we go that should do that that's showing a line connected up so there do we have a line connected up to the tunnel, we do, that's great. So I can, I still can't pre-place the dome either, so which building we don't have the fume refining working, um, well that's because the storage space is full. That's no problem right now, it may be an issue later and I'll increase the uh, storage capacity or I, I may even create another fuel refinery for a more localised resource. Um, so time is ticking along. What about that building working? How long until we get this research in? We have quite a bit of funding as well. So we just really need the time to time to move on. And in the meantime, whilst I'm doing that, I don't want to spend any more polymers. I really don't. See that's just out of that drone hub range, which is incredibly frustrating. at a point where it just gets full. You can see it's got a local rock storage but right, I'm not too fussed about that right now. So if we build a uh, if we were to build a drone hub, what would it cost us? I 
metals and electronics, both of which we are pretty short on right now. Um, electronics particularly so. And I am wondering... Where's our site is here? Can't get myself turned around. So the idea was that I was going to land the dome somewhere in this area. Um, again, we've got water, concrete, metals. Enough to give us a, a little bit of self-sufficiency in this area again, which is good. Um, <clears throat> just got to wait for this research to come in now. Be nice if it gave me indications to how long it's going to take to complete. In the meantime, is there anything else that I need to sort out on this site? Oops, that's an awful camera angle. There we go. Um, do I really need a drone hub? I don't believe I do at this moment in time. How are we doing with everything? So we have quite a... Um, plenty of oxygen. We're not using... How much are we using in terms of... We're only using 0.6 electronics. Which is okay, but in the new site we want to get an electronics factory up and running. Um, we also want to get the... Um, Oh, actually, I know what I can do. We also want to get the polymer factory up and running as well. So you go into that tunnel there. And what I want you to do is when you come out here, just start collecting that metal. And I'm going to stick, for now, a universal storage. Um, I'll put you there. And actually, what I will do is... Actually, it's going to pick up. Going to pick all those resources up anyway. Let's not worry about that too much. Research is about to come in. Yay! Research complete. I'm not too sure why that guy is bringing those over there. I don't know why they're balancing out the. Um... What are you putting in here? Metals and concrete. Okay, that's pretty cool actually. Because <clears throat> what I'll do now is I will get. Where's he gone? Oh, he's so dirty. Daddy boy. Come over here. And then we are going to build our medium sized dome. So it's a, a fair old dome. It really is. Um, we need it in. Is it going to. So if I put it there, that's going to be a range of both the rare metals and the actual metal itself. Let's go for it. And whilst we're here, we can uh, pull out cable connections. So, power. Oh, power cables into the dome. From there to there. And we'll also want water as well. There we go. So now we wait. We start gathering the minerals, uh, the materials for it, and we start. So just can I see clearly in here? Okay, so actually inside the dome itself, looks like we have one, two, three, three large triangles starting already. Got the few we find it. Why did I click on that? You have to go all the way back. So we have three large triangles, so we have quite a decent amount of space here as well, including some of the circular areas. So what, what we're wanting is we're going to want plenty of residency, uh, plenty of comfort. We want the two factories. Um, can you go and get those metals there as well? Uh, we want the at least polymer, machine parts as well. And we want to probably get some research in the same time. So concrete and fuel refinery, that's fine right now. Uh, buildings with depleted deposits, so this one has finished. So let's um, salvage. Can we actually... So we can actually clear them now as well, which is good. It just, just gets rid of them. Clear that. We will get another concrete extractor built. Straight on there. So 
so that's going to give us going to use some more resources but we again we are we have got everything working quite nicely and we did have someone who was we now have um, two people that are homeless so yeah really but the first thing we want to build is <coughs> need some more some more waste there, some more uh, storage there as well storage is dumping site let's get another one there um, Yes, we again we've got homeless people, so I need to actually plan for expansion as well, which is something I haven't done very well with, so I'm aware of that, uh, painfully aware of that fact. Um, what else can we plan? So you can do me a favour and unload your resources to there. All. Should have some polymers on you. You have two polymer. Where the hell did you get two polymer from? Ah, I suppose it doesn't matter. So we got. So let's come out of there. There's just some more metals over here. I thought I saw. Yeah. So we'll go and get this guy and get these picked up as well. So gather those. Apparently we can make a uh, a route. So how do we make a route? So gather resources. Resources are low. And then unload resources. Okay. Um, electronics are low. I'm probably going to have to bring another rocket in, aren't I? Okay. So resupply. Cargo rocket. Um, this is not really not the best way to play this, to be quite honest. So let's take some... Oh, we don't want machine parts. We're creating machine parts. It's electronics that we want. And oh boy, is electronics expensive. So take us 20. Give us some more polymers. Food we should be pretty okay with now. Metals were okay with concrete. We were okay with. Um, should I bring myself a little bit extra? How much is going to cost me? Yeah, let's do that. So we have 60 of each. Let's bring the rocket in. Might as well get that. Bring some more resources <coughs> from Earth. Uh, eventually, I want to be completely away from Earth in the sense that we are finished. We don't need any more, and it's a uh, job done. We don't. We don't get any more apart from maybe extra people extra colonists. Uh, in terms of resources I want to be as self-sufficient as is possible. So now we've gone up to 0 0.9. It'll be useful to see. So we've got fuel production of 1 but fuel consumption 3 um, and that has to be because we're not actually creating any more fuel right now. Um, maybe I should just create another fuel storage. Maybe that's what we want to do. Oh, the camera swing is so, so far. You've even got fuel stored here. We've got 30. Do we have an iron? I wonder if we have 197 fuel. I'm not worried about that too much. So this has now stopped producing. And it's because storage is full. So I'm going to have to suck it, suck it up and put down another drone hub. Not ideal, but... Put it here as well. That means those drones can service it. How are we doing over here? So we're just waiting for the concrete to come in. It's taking a while to arrive, but that is understandable right now. So have you finished your um, your collecting of the metals over here? You have anything else that we can go grab? Some more metals there actually. How are we for anomalies over this way? Let's just zoom out a little bit. We need to do some more scanning. Um, what we'll probably do is actually stick a, another centre tower. We'll probably stick a centre tower here and a centre tower there, actually. <coughs> to give us more coverage. How are we doing with research? What have we got coming in now? So we've got the safe mode, which is a breakthrough tech that's going to give us some more funding, which is always going to be helpful. Um, now there were some perks around. That's the drone battery increase. Rovers no longer need charging. What have we got lower down this end here? So what about the extractor increase? I'm going to keep that one in the bag for now. I don't think I need it.
did look at getting the is that the Martian education it was the uh, the smart homes which also helps them recover sanity that's not bad actually passenger rockets carry 10 more colonists that would certainly help um, there was a research which gave us, again in one game anyway, the tech might not have appeared yet because the, the techs are all random. You have like a large pool of tech to choose from. Um, and then what happens is you either you either get it or you don't as part of your playthrough, there's no guarantee. But I'm sure there was a, a tech that would actually give us more research for the drones that we have. It's like an extra 100 per drone. But um, it doesn't look like I've, um, I've popped that yet. Could probably probably do we get in some quick wins of the of the cheaper techs in as well. Got quite a decent way down the check tree to go. Um, it's a fine balance between actually being able to um, being able to get all the techs in with what we want. So we're still running at faster speed. I'm quite pleased with the way the tunnels have worked out. In the previous games, I've always built things quite close together, so never really made made use of tunnels. But um. Yeah, it'd be nice if we had some more. I think, oh, shuttle's ready to go. Um, so this is the one that's probably needing the resources more than anything else. So we'll um, drop the rocket there. Oh boy. Oh, well, the... the so we'll stick that down to lower priority right now. We'll whack that up to the highest priority. That means we'll get drones picking up the electronics, um, which in turn will allow us to. In fact, it's already saying that we've got the 20 electronics, which is good, so let's pump that back up as well. So, fuel refiner and water extractor. Again, we'll get you back up in a minute, it's just because of the storage and because we don't have drone coverage to actually come and get all the, uh, the, the liquid rock. So, the drone hub is being built and in, and there we go. Research so. complete. That's good, safe mode has been done. So the drones will now come out and sort that for us as well, which is perfect. Again, it's using more electronics, so we want to make sure we have electronics in stock. How close are we? We're getting closer. Closer and closer. Um, what we want to do is maybe extend, we're going to have to extend the power cable out a bit more anyway, aren't we? So in terms of power cables, will it allow me to to branch off from here I think and branch off over towards that resource to start with <coughs> that'll be helpful and we are relying on the shuttles aren't we so could we build another maybe shuttle hub as well get things over here a bit quicker so polymer factory an electronics factory god damn it's going to have to be a prefab I didn't realise that Oh, we might be shipping some more electronics at this rate then. And here comes the medium dome. So we'll soon find out exactly what it's going to cost us. We'll soon see how much there are power Earth sick hit. colonists. Earthsick colonists, which is not ideal. So here we go. Power is bearing up. Okay. Um, so the first thing I'm actually going to do within this dome is I'm going to get some living quarters. So the apartments, six polymer. Well, that will allow us to to house up to 26 people. So let's get the apartments, and um, we'll deal with you in a minute, Rocket. Let's get the apartment and we've got one colonist that's earth sick. Not much I can do about that right now, unfortunately. But if we get this up and running, that means someone will be able to move in. That's Sector good. scanned. Anomaly found. I feel like a nursery is the right thing to go as well. Um we will want a Wow, school, that's gonna kill us for electronic wise. So let's have a look at what else we want. I'm going to want a diner, definitely want a diner. Give me an angle that looks okay. Get the 
diner in there. Let's just pause for a minute. We want a grocer as well. So actually we're going to have to put some... Um, put some beautification things in the middle of there. I think actually that would be quite nice. I think we'll do that quite straight away. Um, so if we put like small gardens in there maybe. That feels, feels like it's going to be quite nice. do we need? We want the factories in place as well. So factories. Production. Um, polymer factory. Now yeah that does sit outside actually. Which I did not realise to start with but we've got the polymer factory lined up as well. Build. Um, I think the machine parts factory would be nice. Let's get that. make that the priority. In fact, that the priority. Put that down to low for now. How is that rocket? So it's ready for takeoff, so everything's been taken off, you can go. Because uh, you will be coming back soon. I also want to get a shuttle, another shuttle hub. We can start creating polymer, but we want to get that shuttle back. Okay, so we have the apartments up and running. That gives us 24 residential slots. It also uses polymers. Um, I think I'm actually going to send a shuttle immediately. So, passenger rocket. Um, so, we want really rocket capacity. Seven scientists, engineers, officers, and geologists. Let's launch it. Bring that in, we can get people in <laughs> and start working on the polymer factory. Um, we want a farm in place as well, as we still want to be creating local sources of food. Farm? Actually, it'd be nice to have the farm within the uh, complex itself. There are Earthsick colonists. Whereabouts are you? You're in here and you're Earthsick. I don't know what else I can do to help you. To be honest, right now there's not really much unless you decide to move around in a different into a different um, area. Yay, so that's great. Perfect, we get people moving over to the new dome. It's really what we want. People who are homeless can actually come in and no longer be homeless. Diner's not working, that is okay. Power, we are very short of power as well. There's some more wind turbines in place. Must remember to shift click. Or is it control click? Might be. Nope. Oh, God. Right, okay. Wind turbine. <coughs> what am I doing wrong? But I'm also doing something wrong. Get some more power. Is that still low priority? That is, that's good. Rockets on the way. We've got one coming, we've got one going. We have a nursery. We also want to put a school in place as well. Um, more power first. Aha! There we go. Get a bit more 
lot of power going in there. Sector scanned. And a shuttle hub. I don't want to use the electronics right now. Here comes our uh, people shuttle for our next dome. So in you come guys. Welcome home. Or welcome to your new home should I say. So what's happening in terms of this this farm? You're gonna bring some food with them which is good. Food is getting balanced across the area. New colonists have arrived. Yeah you're welcome. Um, we want to get some comfort buildings in as well. Let's just pause for a second and have a quick look at what we're going to put in. Uh, playground. I think a playground is a good idea. For some kids, we're going to have a nursery and a school as well. Research lab. We need the electronics. I need to get this electronics factory down and here ASAP. So let's get another rocket. <coughs> Cargo rocket. And prefabs. Electronics factory. It's going to cost me a load. Yeah. It certainly is. So electronics factory. Whilst we're here, I'm going to bootstrap with some electronics as well. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to do. This rocket will eventually get refuelled. It's also got food that needs to be taken off. But that really wants to be a bit of a priority. Farm, right. No, nope. close. I always do that. Farm is under construction. Completed. So then we're going to go soybeans. Soybeans. Does that increase the soil quality of the farm, which is what we want? So we've got food, getting a uh, machine parts factory up and running. We have two children here as well, which is absolutely wonderful. People working in the diner, people working in the grocers. Ah, excellent. Everything feels good. Um, apart from the power situation, can we have these as a priority, please? Oops. So I all want this, I need this power coming in, ASAP. Come on, give me power. Start bringing the power in. Um, I'd probably get that built up as well now, and get people working in the polymer factory and start producing polymers. <coughs> the drone hubs cost to build again. Again we're going to be, we need to get these electronics in, we're going to be eating away at our electronics. The electronics factory will arrive, we'll land it here, we'll also get some extra stuff from it which is good. Um, I think you need to go and get a charge please. Can you just come over here a little bit? Stop you there, you're still in range of everything. Great stuff. Why are you not doing anything? Are you joking? You're not in range there of There are no. earth sick colonists. There we go. Three earth sick colonists. Nope. So with that in mind, we want to be able to make these people happy as well within their domes. So what else can we put in? Infirm is good. Uh, space bar. It's going to be worth having a space bar in place. Art store, I'm not too worried about. Electronics, I'm not too worried about. Open air gym. 
an open air gym is a good idea as well. Hey, our uh, electronics rocket is here. So we get the electronics factory put in as well. So what's going on? What is wrong with this? Inactive work shift. That's fine, no problem. Polymer factory is up and scanned. running. Is it? Interestingly enough, it's not connected to the water pipes. Maybe that's what was wrong with it. Um, life support pipes. There we go. We have some extra power coming in. That's excellent. We have the electronics to build the electronics factory. Production. Electronics factory, yes please. Thank you. Alright. I'm going to open, open up extra works, work shifts. Um, I want more people. I actually need more people immediately. So that means another... Another apartment block, really. on earth is it? Might be useful to have in the future. Build. Another apartment block. Those are both waiting for fuel. Power is in the negative, as is water. That's actually drawing water at the moment, so let's just turn that off for now. Power is in the negative, and we are uh, using battery, relying complete. On battery power. But we will get there. Let's get another storage over here. Get us more power, please. These all should be the priority. I don't know if there is a way to actually globally prioritize everything. Control plus. So control, give them all priority. <laughs> so it looks like it might be a nighttime thing that's going to cause us the biggest issue. Machine parts factory is not working, that's again down to the issue of not having enough people. Three more fuel for this rocket, we can send it back. It's not great having two rockets here right now, but it is what it is. One more, and that rocket can go. Yep, go. Take off, please. There we go. That's one rocket off back. And that is going to bring us some more people. Um, so in this dome, let's make the there apartments. There are earth sick colonists. I know, I know, I know. Um, I want to get a drone hub to, do, to, do, to give us more coverage over here. Sector scanned. Get the drone hub there. Get a power cable to it as well. This is getting very messy in this area already. <coughs> Drone hub. Uh, we want to get the metals extractor set up here as well. It's just getting the resources over here right now is the biggest challenge. Okay. 
how we're doing with water now. So, one to one. Great stuff. So, we've got those kids in the nursery. I'm going to stop that shift. I'm also going to stop that shift. That means going to bring people into the polymer factory, which is good. That's good as well. And that's just about getting go go about whatever it was you were doing. Deliver whatever it is you were doing. Machine parts factory is not working. That's fine. Okay, well this is probably a good place to put a cut in. Our third and now our largest dome is up and running. Um, once we've got more people in and we've got what we think is going to be a nice uh, settled settled area, um, we can start hooking up the extra water and go, start bringing the water, the mineral, uh, the metal in. Um, then we want to get the rare metals to get some more money. But yeah, um, actually just let's have a look. Can we bring a, a second rocket in? Uh, Passenger rocket, we can. So, let's have a look. Should we bring? Should you bring anyone with an alcoholic? Ideally, I don't want any. <laughs> I don't really don't want any flaws. But it might be something that we're going to have to have. So let's bring a vegan in because that's fine. <laughs> let's bring uh, that in as well. Specializations. That's good. It's going to give us our, our, our ten extra twelve people. launch anyway, because by then our apartment block will have come in. Is this rocket empty? It is, so you can launch as well. There we go. Electronics factory is not working. I said this was to the apartment was to be the priority, it was to waiting on concrete. So we have people in the electronics factory now. And we are running fairly low on power again. I feel like I really need some, some larger power capabilities. But for now, that's a future me's problem. So once again, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.